Season 2 of Glow, available for streaming on Netflix right now. Alison Brie and a cast of thousands, including this man who plays an awkward superfan named Cupcake. He was also Ham in the Sandlot. It's good to see you, Patrick Renna. Good to see you. Thank so, you. So all your characters are, are named after food in a certain way? Ham yeah, and Cupcake? Yeah, Ham, Cupcake, you know, it's a good combo. It's a good combo. Dinner, dessert. Huh? Why not? Unbelievable. The 25th anniversary. Yeah. Can you believe it? This, no, I can't. Can you? Uh, not really, no. Sometimes it feels that way, and sometimes it's a little strange. Now, are you playing in a, a super fan in a Glow? Do you, are there any Sandlot super fans? Sure. Can... So it was great uh, research. I, you know, just channeled the inner Sandlot super fan. Is that so? What's the oddest? Uh, Except uh, I, Cupcake was a fan of a beautiful woman. These yes. guys are fans of dudes playing baseball. So it's a little different. It's a little you know? bit different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apples and oranges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To say the least. Yeah. But it's interesting. There's a a, a story that we saw recently. In which, um, by the way, Brockman, you're wearing a Sandlot shirt today, I am. right? Nice. You're wearing that Sandlot shirt. So there was somebody, uh, what, what, what was the story here? That oh, uh, Patrick was walking down the street and saw someone wearing the You're Killing Me Smalls t-shirt. Yeah. You asked him to take a photo, right? Yeah, well, I was uh, with Tom Guyry, who played Smalls. And the line, obviously, is You're Killing Me Smalls. And it just, it's a whole lot better when we're together because we <laughs> we have not spent time together in 25 years so anyway we're in manhattan and the lower east side and this guy starts walking toward us and i'm like oh tom check this out so we get about 15 feet apart and i go nice shirt buddy and then we sort of pass each other and start walking back and he goes what and i went yeah <laughs> and then it just got awkward i was like oh that's me on the shirt he's smalls what and then I just went, dude, I got to get a photo of this. Do you mind if I get a photo? And then at, right at the end, I think he started realizing because he started secret videoing. And I was like, uh-oh, all right. So how I'm looking at the, the gentleman. Uh, it, looks like he's, know. It's, it looks like he's a, a millennial, like he's a teen or something like yeah, that. Yeah, he might be Gen Z because millennials are a little up there now. So True. Good I point. think he's the next generation. I think even millennials do know. But so, so you, Patrick Reno, who played Ham, yeah. using the line, you're killing me, Smalls, is yes. walking down New York City with the actual Smalls. Smalls. The dude wears and, the and, shirt. And by mere happenstance, yeah. a shirt of you saying you're killing me, Smalls, is being worn. Yes. Guy did not know no you clue. or the other guy. Sweetest guy had no idea. <laughs> I think we scared him a little bit, you to be honest. You can't make it up. <laughs> like, what are no. we doing? What are we doing? Why do you think the Sandlot has such staying power, do you think, Patrick? You know, I I don't know. It's I, I think partly because baseball is more than just a sport. You know, it's sort of just a nostalgic sport in itself is part of the reason. And then I think also because the movie's not just about baseball. It's about growing up. And, you know, wh one of the big parts of it is inclusion. And I think that strikes a chord with people. You know, you know Benny makes sure that, Scotty Smalls is included mm -hmm. and the rest of us kind of our first instinct is to not. And it's just that, not that we were bullies cause we weren't, but it's, it just has that thing where the, the handsome stud dude, he brings the other guy in and I, there's something that gives you the chills about well, that. What, what was it like on the set shooting that? I mean, how old were you? I was one of the older ones. I was 13, between 13 and 14. I, it was like just, we were filming baseball over the summer. So it was great. We, we just, had an amazing time. It was hot. It was half baseball, half acting. We only could film eight hours a day because we were younger. Kids, so right. Then we just, you know, partied our, all together every no, night. And no, what? No, not no. not that kind of party. Thirteen-year-old okay. party. I know. Well, it is Los Angeles. Patrick. Well, this was also the uh, '90s, so it wasn't. I mean, who knows okay. what the kids are doing these days? Okay. Apparently, they're wearing <laughs> shirts and they have no idea what I they're can't wearing. Believe that? What a story that. Yeah, is. it was pretty great. I, I hesitated in posting it, too, because I was like, oh, I don't know. Is this funny? And then a friend of mine said, no, no, you got to. And I'm glad I did because people got a real kick out of it. And then you threw out a first pitch, correct, recently? I, my first first pitch ever. Uh, it's so frightening. Well, I've caught a lot of first pitches because I was the catcher. Yes. So I've okay. done that plenty of times. Right. But I threw out a first pitch. Yeah, see, I caught the director's pitch at the Dodger game. Okay. Uh, which is cool, but it's it's more fun to throw the first pitch. And, and I threw a strike. yes. From the mound. I did not go Atta in front boy. of the mound. Good for you, Pat. They said aim high. Yeah, I, exactly. Yeah, and I, I play baseball, so, you know, it was a change-up. It wasn't the heater, but I still I threw That's a fine. strike. It's, yeah. At least you didn't. I didn't bounce it. You didn't bounce. I mean, we just had Akbar Baja Biamilla here just yesterday from American Ninja Warrior, and he's the one who sp essentially spiked it 
in Philadelphia. Have you not seen it? We're no. showing it on the screen right here. I mean, this is oh, pretty. Oh, no. Oh, no. I but mean, that's no 50 cent right there. That's no, no fitty. No, I mean, that's, it's that's not. That's a close I mean, it's second, It's 25 though. cent. I mean, that's a, that's a dime is really what that <laughs> he hit is. the cameraman. I saw another one where a dude threw it over and clocked a guy in the head the other day. Right. Well, one there, was the, the one, there was the one from, uh, from Boston where he hit somebody directly in the jewels. Right. Okay. Yeah. Right in the King It's James. rough, man. And then yeah, George W. bounced it, didn't he? No, George W. Or did he throw a strike? I mean, that was a strike. Well, he has the greatest first pitch of all time, and I think he bounced it another time okay. like in the last couple but of years. But you can tell he knows how to play, oh, yeah. too. He's oh, got yeah. skills. Yeah. Uh, I, you know, uh, we have uh, some facts about the Sandlot that we would like to know if you can Let's do make sure that it's true or false. Let's play a Celebrity True or False with Patrick Celebrity Renner. True. Keeping it real. Or false. Here we go. Uh, Patrick Renner, fact number one. The chewing tobacco was made of beef jerky and licorice. True or false? That's true. And it was awful. That sounds positively Ugh. terrible. Well, does anyone like black licorice? Anyone? I actually I've never don't met mind it. I don't you're mind the it. First. But I wouldn't want to mix it with beef jerky. Exactly. Yeah. It was it sounds was like an awful brew. Terrible. And it made me almost legitimately throw up. It was so terrible. It's to the point where you cannot have either as a gentleman. Later I can in have life. beef jerky, but I can't do licorice. Okay. See, they could be cruel to kids back then. Now you gotta, you know, it's a whole different <laughs> ballgame. Uh, uh, true or false, Patrick Renna. Uh, during the filming of the pool scene and uh, it was overcast and the water was 56 degrees. True. The Ooh. We filmed in Salt Lake City in the summer and it was blazing hot for the entire three months except one day when we were all in the pool. And you can look at Shauncee Leopardi who plays Squints and it probably was a little bit of nerves because he was about to smooch, you know, Wendy Peppercorn, Marley Shelton, and he was chattering from just the ice cold water. And you can see in it, he's his teeth are chattering and he's yes. shivering. It's great. So you as Ham get in the pool and it's 50. I was fine. Come on. You're fine. I, of course. 56 is no big That's deal. That's nothing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, true or false, many of the young actors snuck into a theater to watch Basic Instinct during the filming. God, I hate that story. Marty York tells that story. I don't remember. I'm not going to say it's false because it probably did happen. However, I have no recollection of doing it. So I'm not well, going to confirm or deny it. I would you'd remember sneaking <laughs> I would in too. to watch Basic Instinct and Sharon Stone's interrogation scene. I would, too. I, I, don't, uh, I don't remember it. Did they not invite you, Patrick? Uh -oh. Is Maybe. that entirely possible? Maybe that's what's happening here. Wait a minute. We're on to something. I don't Thank you. I mean to get in, you know. 25th it seems anniversary to be nice, is over. I was about to say, it's been a nice <laughs> kumbaya feeling of, yeah. the, uh, of the quarter century uh, reunion. Yeah, I think that's what it is. They tell the story and I was the only one left at home. By the way, uh, also don't sleep on uh, what Gene Triplehorn in that film as well. Don't yeah. sleep on that. Okay? See, now that's something I would have remembered. You would have mentioned, yeah, I know. She uh, was red hot as yeah. well. No question about it. Newman is uh, in that scene. Newman is in the scene, the interrogation yeah. scene. That's right. Oh, yeah. Wow. Newman. <laughs> uh, Gotta la love uh, Newman, though. Last fact, true or false, Patrick Reno, you as Ham were the last kid cast in the film. Is that true? Yeah, I th it is true. I was. It was it, me and I think Tom Guyrie were the last two. Uh, they had an, a Ham originally, and it didn't work out. So I auditioned for, for the part on like a Friday, and then my callback was the next day. And I just had to go meet the guys and make sure that I got along with them. So that was basically the second audition was, hey, come meet these dudes because you're going to play baseball with them for a month. No I mean, kidding. for three months. So who was the ham that didn't work out? Do we know? I don't. I, it might have not even been a person. I think they switched roles. I think yeah, yeah, who Mar is Marty York. Yeah. I think he was originally cast as ham or something and then got switched to yeah, yeah. And maybe they were one guy short. Mm -hmm. So they always needed a guy, but. How are you enjoying Glow? I mean, it's a hell of a show. It's a yeah. great, it's a great retro look back in the day. It, I, I would never have thought the gorgeous ladies of wrestling. Let's do a show on Netflix about it, but it it works. It's yeah. phenomenal. Well, I think it works because the, those that cast of characters is so great, and the writing is so great. And some of my favorite shows to watch are the thirty minute ones. I have a, a fifteen month old son now, so I don't have a lot hey. of time for anything. Okay. So you have a you, smalls. Yeah, I have a smalls. Okay. So if you give me twenty eight minutes, I can I can do that. And comedy <laughs> keeps me awake, so I'm not <laughs> falling asleep. You know. So that's one of my favorite shows. Okay. So yeah. you're streaming it. You're streaming it with uh, with your kid. Yeah, I gotta I gotta do second season myself. Now that I'm on it, I don't like to watch myself too much. So. When are you gonna make s'mores with your kid? I'll give him a few years. I showed him the Sandlot the other day, and he uh, I, he recognized me. But I think the age is like four or five when they really start appreciating. Yeah. It. 
Okay. So give it a few years. That'll and, be great. Yeah. I mean, that'll be great when and you I'll get a kid old enough. Hey, there, there, there's dad uh, in the sandlot. Yeah. Which is the staying power. Great to see you, Patrick. Yeah, thank Thanks you Thanks for, for coming me. on. Come back anytime you want. I would love to. You Thanks. got it. At Patrick Renna on, uh, on Twitter. Uh, we're back in 60 seconds with your phone calls, a check of the poll question, and we will go down a, uh, a game show wormhole. That's going to happen when we come back. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.